name is Haley O'Toole, and I'm an interpreter at the Missouri Botanical Garden. Today I'm going to share the story of how the garden's founder, Henry Shaw, came to St. Louis. This book is called Mr. Henry Shaw Moves to St. Louis, written by the Missouri Botanical Garden's Interpretation Department with illustrations by Laura Vogel. Once there was a boy by the name of Henry Shaw who lived far, far away from St. Louis, Missouri. Henry lived with his dad, mom, and two sisters, Caroline and Sarah. They lived in Sheffield, England. When Henry was a teenager, he took a trip to help his dad tell people in other villages about new things they could buy. He also helped sell the things his dad made. One day, while selling his dad's tools in another village, Henry decided to take a boat trip. At the end of his boat trip, he came to the small village of St. Louis, Missouri. When Henry arrived in St. Louis, he realized that people really needed the things he had to sell. So Henry opened a store and decided to live in St. Louis. In his store, Henry sold all kinds of different things. He sold hammers, nails, knives, forks, spoons, hair combs, and things to help make work easy. To go from one place to another in St. Louis, people would walk or ride in a wagon or a buggy. Sometimes they would even ride a horse. Henry would often go riding on his horse. The horse would go galloping through the village. Henry would often stop and talk with the neighbors and look at their flower gardens. Henry made a lot of money and while he was still a young man, he sold his store. Then he asked his sister Caroline to come to St. Louis to take care of his business affairs so he could leave St. Louis to travel the world. When Henry returned from his long trip, he had made a few decisions. He had made up his mind to build himself a house and perhaps build a garden of his own. Henry liked living in town and enjoyed the country too, so he decided to build two houses, one in town and one out in the country. He remembered that when he had been riding around St. Louis that he had seen lots of land and knew of just the perfect spot where there was plenty of room for him to build. The two houses Henry had built were very different. The first one was in town. This was a big house with 17 rooms called a townhouse. The other was a country home. It sat in the middle of the prairie with grass and wildflowers. Henry named this house Tower Grove House. The country house had two living areas. One side was Henry's living area with two bedrooms. One bedroom was Henry's and the other was for guests. The other side of the house had rooms where the servants lived. The house also had a big tower from which Henry could look out and see his land. As Henry built his country house, he remembered the many pretty gardens he saw during his travels. He wanted his own garden too, so he had trees, flowers, herbs, and vegetables planted and grew a very large garden. One day, Henry opened up his garden to the people around town. He invited everyone to see it. He called his garden the Missouri Botanical Garden. Henry saw how much people enjoyed his garden, so he wrote a will. In it, he made sure that the people of St. Louis and people from around the world would be able to enjoy all of the beautiful things at the garden forever and ever. Each year, thousands of people visit Henry's garden. They visit places like the Climatron, the Children's Garden, and even his home, Tower Grove House. There are so many beautiful things to see and special events to experience. Thanks for reading with me today. To see more stories like this one, go to the Missouri Botanical Garden Storytime playlist on YouTube. We'll see you next time.